When you turn on the tap to pour yourself a glass of water, do you ever wonder how it got there? Every day the region of Waterloo and the cities and townships work together to provide clean drinking water and treat wastewater. The journey starts at the source. In Waterloo Region, some of our drinking water comes from the Grand River, but most is groundwater. The water is collected, treated, and tested, and then travels through underground pipes to your home. After you are done using it, the water goes through more underground pipes to a wastewater treatment plant where it is cleaned before returning to the local waterway. During this presentation, you will learn how water from the Grand River is collected and treated. The Grand River, designated as a Canadian Heritage River in 1994, is an important resource for Waterloo Region. It provides us with enjoyment, a home for wildlife, and is one of two sources for our drinking water. This map shows the journey of the Grand River. It begins in Dufferin County, traveling over 280 kilometers to Port Maitland, where the Grand River drains into Lake Erie. Waterloo Region is part of the Grand River Watershed managed by the Grand River Conservation Authority. But what is a watershed? A watershed is an area of land that drains into the same body of water. This map shows the 36 watersheds in Ontario, including the Grand River Watershed. Think of a watershed like water being poured into small funnels that drain into bigger funnels and so on. The funnels are like the streams or creeks that drain into the larger streams or creeks that drain into a larger river that drains into a lake or ocean. In Waterloo Region, waterways such as Schneider's Creek, Laurel Creek and Mill Creek drain into the larger Grand River. The Grand River and many other watersheds drain into Lake Erie and eventually into the Atlantic Ocean. What is the name of the stream or creek near you? Try finding it on a map and following the path it takes to the Grand River. Living in a watershed is a reminder we all share the same water and we all live downstream from someone else and why we all have a role to play when it comes to protecting water. About 20 to 25 percent of the drinking water for Waterloo Region is from the Grand River. This map shows where the journey begins. When driving on Highway 8 from Kitchener towards Cambridge and as you cross over the Grand River, look out to the right. The red star represents a small building you might see near the edge of the river. This is where the region of Waterloo takes water from the Grand River to treat and test before we can drink it. Here's the same location as an aerial photo. As water from the Grand River moves downstream, it crosses a weir. The weir redirects some of the water to a large intake pipe. Here's a close-up of the weir. Do you know how the fish swimming up and downstream cross the weir? They use a fish ladder, a set of stairs or steps located at one end of the weir. After the water enters the intake pipe, it goes to a large reservoir with four holding tanks. The reservoir holds about two to four days of water supply and allows time for sand and silt to settle out of the water. After leaving the reservoir, the water travels about 10 kilometers through underground pipes to the treatment plant in Mannheim. This is an aerial photo of the Mannheim Water Treatment Plant built in 1992. Do you know why the treatment plant was built here? This is one of the higher elevation areas in Waterloo Region. Once the water is pumped uphill from the Grand River to the treatment plant, gravity is used to move the water through the treatment process. This reduces energy costs and the associated greenhouse gases from using energy. Before the water goes into the treatment plant, it is first stored in two raw water reservoirs. Raw water is the water that has not yet been treated. Each reservoir holds about 2 million liters of water, enough to fill 40 backyard swimming pools. From the reservoirs, the water enters the plant where it goes through a complex, multi-step treatment process. The Mannheim Water Treatment Plant treats 500 to 840 liters every second and supplies about 30 million liters of drinking water each day. The first step is rapid mixing where a polymer is added to the water. The polymer attracts any dirt in the water and forms large clumps called flocks. From there the water and the flocks move to the second step called sedimentation. 
Here the flocks separate from the water and settle to the bottom of the tank. Next, ozone gas is added to clean the water and improve its taste, smell, and color. The water then goes through a layer of sand and coal as part of the filtration process. The water then moves through tubes of ultraviolet light that inhibit harmful organisms. Finally, small amounts of chlorine is added to the water to keep it clean as it travels through the underground pipes to your home. Throughout the journey, the water is also tested. The treated water from the Grand River is mixed with treated groundwater from nearby wells before going through underground pipes to homes, schools, and places of work. To learn more about your drinking water distribution system, visit the Region of Waterloo website at www regionofwaterloo.ca slash learn water.